This might be one of my favorite Wunderkid to Superstars yet because I think 99% of players will have no clue who this guy is, but he can cost you 1 million quid. He's in the second tier of French football and age 16, he is perfectly set up to be a striker that can break this year's match engine. That's right, we're back with another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar, the series where we take a Wonder Kid, put them to the highest end of their potential range to see just how good they could become. Now, this player isn't one who has the biggest potential range in the world, but if you stick with us in this video, we'll show you exactly why he is worth picking up and how to turn him into an elite advanced forward who's going to be one of the best in the world, hands down. And again, he's only going to cost you around £1 million or so. Before we get started though, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you smash that like button for us and subscribe to the channel as we get close to 180k subs and with that being said we'll go and show you this player now we're at Real Madrid but we don't need to be in Spain we need to head to France and we're going to the second tier to SMCN, also known as Stad Mel Herbecien. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced at all, but in their ranks, you will find a young player by the name of Tidium Gomez, who's only classed as a breakthrough prospect age 16. But I imagine a lot of you are seeing what I'm seeing in terms of potential with the attributes that he has. Now, this guy is pretty unknown, and it's because his potential range is only 130 to 160. So in some saves, he might be absolutely pointless in signing. I still think he'd be worth the 1 million, 2 million, mind you. You, but in some saves he is going to be a must buy player like I say his value is sitting at around two million pounds or so in this save at his highest potential so for you guys he might be even cheaper the reason that I say that he is perfectly set to become a very good player is because he's got great acceleration pace finishing dribbling and first touch already I call these three attributes here the holy trinity and he's got all of them at age 16 combined with those good physical attributes that pace is going to go up massively in the next few years between the age of 16 and 18 is when you'll see the most physical growth. So to see him already good in those areas means he's going to turn in to a very good player. If you don't know this year, pace is the thing that really gets a player over the line or any kind of real dominant physical attribute, whether it's strength, jump and reach, or maybe all three. But in this case, Gomez has the pace. He's set up to be a great player in the future, but of course he needs the right development and training. So let's move him over to our Real Madrid team and we'll show you everything you need to do to get this guy to be a world-class player. Firstly, let's start with a tactic that we're testing him in. We're actually just going to be using a preset tactic that the game provided, a 4-3-3 Gagan press with Gomez as our advanced forward on the attack duty. So he's going to be playing a lot of football. Ideally, he wouldn't be starting for Real Madrid straight away between the age of 16 and 18. He doesn't necessarily need first team football, but we're going to ask the assistant to play him as often as possible to get that development right to the max. For you guys, feel free to loan him out, use him in your development teams, but once he hits 18, you need to be given giving him that first team football, whether it's with you or on loan. Now, Gomez, like I say, is going to be playing this striker role. Nothing special about it, but he is also being mentored by the likes of Modric, Danny Carvajal and Fede Valverde. We're going to hopefully improve his personality, which is currently at balanced. If you don't know how to do mentoring training, mentoring tab, you can then set up a mentoring group. We haven't actually got Valverde in here yet, so let me add him to it. There we go. All of these guys are having a significant effect on Tidium Gomez, which will hopefully help his personality go from balanced to one of these that these guys have next to him. Now, obviously, age 16, we're not expecting him to be great mentally yet. And you might notice the star ratings aren't rating him very highly either. But ignore these because they're going to be blown out the water a little bit later in this video. But of course, the important part is training. For us in these videos, we always focus in on the role. You guys should definitely do that. But add an additional focus too. We don't keep it blank. But I think for me, easily, you've got to work on his decision making, his composure, his anticipation. So either attacking move movement or final third has to be the one here for Tidium. I would say get that decision making up final third because he's already got good attributes in these three areas. He can pass. He's got good technique and vision too, which is obviously very useful for an advanced forward. And his physicals are going to grow a lot anyway, and he's already pretty quick. So I wouldn't focus my attribute growth there. I would focus on those mentals, get that up. But for this video, we're going to leave it as blank as we do for every player. And now that he's set up, we're going to simulate a few years ahead and show you him on the lowest end of that potential range. Range. Worst case scenario, what is your 2 million quid getting you?
Okay, so we had a little bit of a change of events here because I expected him to be on the lowest end of his potential range after a couple of years of simulating. He's 19 now. I expected a current ability of maybe 130, 140, but he's already reached 150 current ability out of his 160. So this isn't him at his worst, but it just shows you how quick he can develop when given the chance. Those star ratings we saw earlier have completely changed because they've now realized how good he is. He's the number nine for El Madrid now. He's only 19 years of age, valued at 90 million and the French forward isn't just scoring for us, he's also scoring for the French under-21 national team. He's got electric pace, great composure, anticipation, aggression, off the ball work, the technique, the passing is also great, really good dribbling, finishing and first touch. You could definitely use him on the wing, but I think as a striker, out and out, advanced forward, this guy is brilliant. He can even play complete forward to a pretty good level. You will notice his jumping reach has got a lot better since we last saw him, so he's really developing into a good physical presence. He's He's not the best strength-wise, but I think you can forgive that with how good he is everywhere else. And in the in-game engine, he has been scoring goals right from the off. Season 1, age 16, he took a bit of time to adapt, but 18 goals in 38 games is not too bad. The year after, 25 and then 21. He's scoring a goal every couple of games at this stage, getting great average match ratings in a system that does have other players scoring goals. It's not like he's the only player in this tactic that can score. There's a Mazala, an inside forward. So to see Gomez doing so well already shows you just how good this guy can be. Again, this is with Real Madrid. For you guys, you could pick him up for a second tier team in England if you wanted to. And for two million quid, you can get a player that will grow at this kind of level if he has good potential. And by the time you're in the Premier League, he is going to be one of the world's best. Of course, like I say, this still isn't him at his maximum potential though. So let's simulate, see how good he looks in his prime and what kind of player Gomez can become. So Gomez is now fully grown and looks unbelievable, but before I show him to you guys, just to let you know, I do have my own channel linked in the description. Over there we do five year football manager rebuilds where we take over at a club and try and deliver some kind of glory, restore a fallen giant, whatever it might be, in the space of five years, a 30 minute video, we cram five seasons in. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you do check it out once this video is done. And if you like Wonder Kids, we also do YouTube shorts about Wonder Kids you might not have heard of, with lower ability Wonder Kids that you probably haven't ever came across before so thank you to anybody who does that but let's see Gomez now who looks unbelievable age 27 he's a France international I would have expected him to get some more caps but he hasn't done he scored two goals in five appearances for the French national team I imagine playing some of those off the bench as well extremely composed great off the ball work vision technique and passing the anticipation is there he's still got that pace and acceleration even though it has declined a little bit in his older age but he's good in the jumping reach department great finisher dribbling ability and first touch also of the highest level and whilst his numbers might not match some players that we've tested because he doesn't necessarily have the strength and the physical prowess in that nature his ability has certainly helped him become a very good goal scorer in a system like I say that isn't designed just for one person to score he's getting assists he's scoring plenty of goals in one year 30 goals in 36 games are we expecting him to get Mbappe or Haaland numbers obviously not this guy costs two million and most people don't even know he exists but it just shows you how good Gomez can be but of course we want to see him at the end of his career so let's quickly switch to that And he's finishing off his career with Al Fateh out in Saudi Arabia. He's now a veteran striker with great ability in all areas still, even if he is losing a little bit of those physical attributes. Six goals and 24 France caps. Again, a lot of them being off the bench, but he continued to score goals for us over the years. And out in Saudi Arabia, he's done really well too. You could see he was declining a little bit as the years went on, but he is an unbelievable talent to pick up for two million. And of course, I'm doing this while holidaying. If you guys manage him hands-on, do his training properly, maybe get some kind of tactic that really suits him, you will see some great results out of him, I am sure. I mean, he did well here, but maybe not as well as some did. Either way, this is one of my favorite Wonder Kids of Superstars yet, because I just think nobody really knows about this guy at all. For those wondering, he never won a Ballon d'Or, as you would expect with those numbers. Also never won World Player of the Year, but he was in a team that had Bellingham and Endrick getting lots of goals too. You can see why Gomez wouldn't have been the main goal scorer when Bellingham's getting 28 goals from midfield and Endrick is scoring 36 from the wing. So it was never going to be easy for him and but he was in the world team of the year a few times I don't know exactly when when I looked on his milestones you can see world team of the year was in there somewhere uh, I can't see it right now as I look but he's got plenty of awards in his career he's been a very good player and one that you guys need to sign I've been Jake for FM Scout this has been Wonder Kid to Superstar and this is Tidium Gomez